Such an indicator, too, of what these hot temperatures can do in terms of fire growth and uh, just growing a couple hundred acres compared to where it was either last night or overnight. And so this is what we deal with when we see these hot temperatures. It does get pretty dangerous out there, and especially for the firefighters, too, because it is so hot. So we have a couple more days of this today, tomorrow. Finally, by the weekend, we have some relief in sight. That remains the big story, but the other one is also the monsoonal weather. A little less of a chance today, but we are starting to see some thunderstorms pop. Get your heavy-duty 100% cotton Balco PC t-shirt like these guys. Just send your HD video, and if you use it on our channel, you get a free shirt. shirt. Up on Live Mega Doppler 7000 HD. They're not too close to us, though, but just know as we get into later this afternoon, they could get a little closer and even into areas of L.A. Ventura County Mountains, too. Right now, they're down near San Diego County in the rural areas where we have a pretty strong isolated cell there right at the Mexico border and the Arizona border, too, where we do have uh, quite a bit of thunderstorms that are firing off. Not as active as what we saw yesterday afternoon yet, but we do have a chance to see uh, quite a few more. Excessive heat warnings, the heat advisories, they're all still in place through tomorrow night. Finally, the weekend, things are looking up for us, so I'll let you know what we can expect in just a little bit. Philip, Giovanna, I'll send it back to you for now. Brianna, thank you.